In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a faded in background image change on hover in Elementor. Let's get started. Inside your Elementor editor, I'm going to add a new section. It's going to be a two column section. I'm going to select this section under layout, height option, I'll add a minimum height of 100 VH. Back to the widgets area, I'll add my text, fade in BG image, hover, under style, I'll add a text color of white, and typography will be Oswald. I'll select EM for the size, and I'll add 6.5 EM, and weight is going to be 900. Text transform is going to be uppercase. For our text to be visible, we are going to select the section under style, background type, I'm going to add an image for the background, insert my image from the media library. Under the size option, I'm going to choose cover. I'll go to the background overlay option, add a color, which is going to be black. This looks already better because what we wanted is our text to be a little bit more visible. Now let's add our faded in image on hover. To do that, we are going to need the pro version of the premium add-ons for Elementor. In the pro version, you'll have access to the iHover widget. And this is the widget that enables you to add several image on hover effects in your Elementor website. So make sure that it is active. By active, it should be in green. Once that is done, you're going to simply come back into your Elementor editor under the widgets area and search up for the iHover. Drag it into your editor. Now we are good to get started. Let's add our first image. So I'm going to come over here to the change image option. Look out for an image in your media library and insert it. I'll choose the image size to percentage and drag it to 100%. Under border radius, I'm going to make it zero so we don't have any border radius around our image. You see when you hover over this image, it brings up this background and a title. What we want is on hover, we want to show up an image. To do that, we are going to come under the content type, choose an image, and we are going to choose an image to show up once someone hovers over our widget. Inside the media library, I'll choose and insert my image, but we want it to appear way bigger and we don't want to show the title. Under the icon size, choose percentage and make it 100%. We are going to disable the title because we want that title to appear down below here. So I'll disable that. You see we have a blue color at the background of our image. We want to disable that. Under the hover overlay color, we are going to switch that to transparent. So we have something like this. Back to our content section, you realize that when I hover over this image, the images are not actually proportioned in size. So what I'm going to do is to select our first image under size. We are going to change that from percentage to now pixels and we make it 500 pixels. You see that now they have the same proportion with the hover image and the background image, which looks better. Now let's add our fade in effect. To do that, under the image option, we're going to select the hover effect. And that is going to be our faded in background. So I'll select that. And now when I hover over our image, voila. We now have our faded in background image on hover. Now let's go and have a look at the preview. Awesome. Now let's work on the responsive settings of our section. Inside your Elementor editor, we're going to choose the responsive mode, select our tablet device. We'll use on the font size of our heading. Now we'll select our section. Under layout, we're going to reduce on the minimum height to about a 50%. We'll select our image widget and reduce on the size of our image. That's on the tablet. A 75 looks good. Let's do the same on the mobile device. Select our heading widget, under style, typography, reduce that to about 2.5 EM looks good. Select our image widget, and we're going to reduce the size of our image. A 50 looks good. All right, once you are done, you can simply update and then have a look at your preview. Here we go. Congratulations on creating a faded in background image which changes on hover in your Elementor website. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. And if you liked the video, make sure that you hit the like button 
And if you are new to the channel, make sure that you subscribe. Have a good time and goodbye.